Welcome to our College Briefing Show. Today, we dive into the exciting political landscape in Alabama, where a newly redrawn congressional district is setting the stage for a competitive race between Democrat Shomari figures and Republican Caroline Dobson. With nearly half of the voting age population being black, this election is crucial for representation and is drawing significant attention from both sides. In sports news, we witnessed a nail-biting overtime game as Drake's Luke Bailey threw for 380 yards and secured a thrilling 35-32 victory against Eastern Washington. With six lead changes and critical mistakes from both teams, this match kept fans on the edge of their seats until the very end, showcasing the intensity of college football. Lastly, No. 25 Clemson showcased their offensive prowess with a staggering 66-20 win over Appalachian State, led by quarterback Cade Klubnik's impressive performance. The Tigers dominated the field, scoring on all first-half drives, and this victory is sure to boost their confidence moving forward. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage. The Toronto Star reports from Tuskegee, Alabama, where the newly redrawn 2nd Congressional District has ignited a fierce competition between Democrat Shomari figures and Republican Caroline Dobson. The district, once a GOP stronghold, now leans Democratic after a Supreme Court ruling that aimed to enhance black voters' influence, with nearly 49% of the voting age population being black. Figures, a former aide in the Obama administration, advocates for expanding Medicaid and addressing healthcare shortages, while Dobson, a real estate attorney, focuses on border security and inflation, aligning herself closely with Donald Trump. Both candidates, under 40 and returning to their roots, reflect the district's shifting demographics and political landscape, as excitement builds among voters who feel they finally have a voice in this competitive race. Associated Press, in a thrilling clash, Luke Bailey's clutch performance led Drake to a 35-32 victory over Eastern Washington in overtime. Bailey threw for an impressive 380 yards and two touchdowns, including a decisive 14-yard pass to Trey Radocha in the back of the end zone. The game was a roller coaster, filled with missed opportunities and critical mistakes, particularly in the final moments, where Eastern Washington fumbled at crucial junctures, allowing Drake to capitalize. The match featured six lead changes, showcasing the competitive spirit of both teams, but ultimately, it was Bailey's precision and poise that sealed the win for the Bulldogs. Associated Press Cade Klubnik shone brightly as No. 25 Clemson rebounded from a tough loss by demolishing Appalachian State 66-20. Klubnik threw for a career-high 378 yards and five touchdowns, leading the Tigers to an explosive first half where they scored on all eight drives. The highlight was a stunning 76-yard touchdown pass to Bryant Wesco Jr., setting the tone for the game. Clemson's offense, which had struggled the previous week, erupted for a staggering 712 total yards with tight end Jake Briningstall catching two touchdown passes. The game also served as a tribute to late former receiver DeAndre Overton, as fans and players honored his memory before kickoff. Associated Press, UCF showcased its dominance with a commanding 45-14 victory over Sam Houston, powered by RJ Harvey's outstanding performance, who rushed for four touchdowns. The night's ground game was relentless, amassing 384 rushing yards, with Harvey leading the charge with 126 yards on 19 carries. UCF's defense complemented the offense, limiting Sam Houston to a mere 282 total yards and thwarting their scoring attempts effectively. Despite a brief lightning delay before the game, UCF's energy remained high, and with K.J. Jefferson showing improvement as a quarterback, the Knights look poised for a strong season as they prepare to enter Big 12 play. Associated Press reports that Miles Crawley led Grambling to a commanding 37-20 victory over Division II Tuskegee by throwing four touchdown passes in the first half. Crawley completed 16 of 26 passes for a remarkable 304 yards, with standout receiver Javon Robinson catching four passes for 151 yards and a touchdown. The Tigers' defense also shined, with Josh Darling scoring on a 19-yard fumble return just before halftime, extending their lead to 37-0. Tuskegee's Christopher Roberson struggled, completing 13 of 28 passes for 193 yards and two interceptions, while the Golden Tigers managed to score 10 points in the last five minutes of the game. In another thrilling match, Southern Illinois triumphed over Austin Peay with a score of 31-17, as reported by the Associated Press. Sean Lester Jr. showcased his talent by rushing for 111 yards, while quarterback DJ Williams not only threw two touchdown passes but also scored on a one-yard run to seal the victory. The Seleucus initially trailed 10-7, but a last-second touchdown pass from Williams to Nashon Hezekiah before halftime shifted the momentum. 
Williams ended the game with 156 passing yards, and the team accumulated a solid 213 rushing yards. Austin Smith of Austin P put up a valiant effort with 265 passing yards, but it wasn't enough to overcome Southern Illinois. The Associated Press highlights Parker Navarro's impressive performance as he guided Ohio to a 27-20 win against South Alabama. Navarro completed 20 of 28 passes for 204 yards and contributed with 63 rushing yards and a touchdown. He orchestrated a swift seven-play drive that resulted in a 33-yard touchdown pass to Chase Hendricks, giving Ohio a 17-10 lead just before halftime. The Bobcats maintained their momentum in the second half with Navarro scoring a 10-yard rushing touchdown to extend their lead. South Alabama fought back with quarterback Bishop Davenport throwing for 227 yards and a touchdown, but it was not enough as Ohio held on for the win, capped off by a field goal from Johnny Spedick. Associated Press, in a thrilling showdown at the Duke's Mayo Classic, Quarterback Nico Iamaliva led No. 14 Tennessee to a resounding 51-10 victory over No. 24 NC State. Iamaliva showcased his prowess by accumulating 276 yards and throwing three touchdowns, while also contributing a 31-yard rushing touchdown. The Vols dominated the game, outgaining NC State 460-143 and limiting their rushing yards to a mere 39. A pivotal moment came when former walk-on safety Will Brooks intercepted a pass and returned at 85 yards for a touchdown, marking the 10th longest interception return for a score in Tennessee's history. Despite a late interception return touchdown by NC State, the Vols' offensive onslaught continued, with Dylan Sampson adding two rushing touchdowns to seal the game. Associated Press, Coastal Carolina cruised to a 40-21 victory over William & Mary, thanks in large part to Christian Washington's stellar performance. Washington rushed for two touchdowns in the first half, helping the Chanticleers build a commanding 27-7 lead by halftime. He finished the game with 100 yards on 16 carries, while Cade Hensley excelled in special teams, converting four out of five field goals, including a career-tying 49-yarder. The second half saw Matthew McDoom returning a fumble for a touchdown, extending the lead to 30 points. Despite a valiant effort from William & Mary, who managed a touchdown pass from Darius Wilson to Drayshawn Kendrick, Coastal Carolina maintained control throughout the game. Associated Press, in a nail-biting overtime clash, North Carolina A&T edged out Winston-Salem 27-20, thanks to a last-second field goal and a strong defensive stand. The Aggies tied the game with a 31-yard field goal by Andrew Brown as time expired in regulation. In overtime, Wesley Graves scored on a 16-yard run, putting the Aggies ahead, but the drama didn't end there. Winston-Salem fought back reaching the A&T one-yard line before being thwarted by the Aggies' defense, which held firm to secure the victory. Kevin White led the Aggies in passing with 157 yards and a touchdown, while Graves contributed significantly with 106 rushing yards, showcasing a gritty performance from both teams in this intense matchup. Associated Press reports that Rice University showcased a dominant performance against Texas Southern, overwhelming them with a staggering score of 69-7. Dean Connors was the star of the game, rushing for three touchdowns and accumulating 113 yards on just nine carries, including a spectacular 71-yard touchdown run. Taji Atkins contributed significantly as well, adding two touchdowns and 91 rushing yards. The Owls displayed their offensive prowess by outgaining the Tigers a remarkable 533-87 in total yardage, scoring touchdowns in every quarter except the first. Texas Southern managed a late consolation score, preventing a shutout as Jordan Davis connected with Cordell Rogers for a 12-yard touchdown pass in the final seconds. Associated Press also covers No. 15 Oklahoma's narrow victory over Houston, winning 16-12 in a game filled with challenges for the Sooners. Jackson Arnold threw two touchdown passes but faced a tough defense, leading to seven punts throughout the match. Despite being outgained by the Cougars, Oklahoma's defense stepped up with a crucial late interception from Robert Spears Jennings and a safety that helped them maintain their lead. Arnold's performance included a touchdown pass to Brennan Thompson following a muffed punt, and another to tight end Jake Roberts. The Cougars fought back with a quick touchdown in the third quarter, but ultimately, Oklahoma's defense held strong, allowing them to escape with a slim victory. Associated Press highlights Nebraska's impressive defensive display in their 28-10 triumph over Colorado. The Cornhuskers' defense was relentless, sacking quarterback Shadur Sanders five times and stifling the Buffaloes' offense, which struggled to gain momentum. 
Nebraska fans were energized, recalling the historic rivalry and the program's glory days. Dylan Riola threw for 185 yards and a touchdown, while running back Dante Dowdell contributed two rushing touchdowns. The Huskers built a commanding 28-0 lead by halftime, showcasing their defensive strength and capitalizing on Colorado's mistakes. Although Nebraska's offense faltered in the second half, the defense ensured the victory, marking their longest streak of holding opponents to under 24 points since 2009-10. Associated Press, in a thrilling matchup in Beaumont, Texas, Colin Griffin showcased his remarkable talent by rushing for an impressive 197 yards and scoring two touchdowns, leading the Lamar Cardinals to a 28-14 victory over the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils. The game turned pivotal just before halftime when Robert Coleman connected with Ja'Cory Hyder on a stunning 63-yard touchdown pass, propelling the Cardinals to a 21-7 lead. Despite a valiant effort from MBSU's Jaden Sisk, who threw a 20-yard touchdown to Carrick Ross, the Delta Devils couldn't overcome their early deficit. As the game neared its conclusion, Griffin's relentless drive culminated in a decisive one-yard touchdown run, solidifying Lamar's triumph. While Coleman struggled with his passing accuracy, completing only 12 of 30 attempts, his long completions helped rack up 216 yards, with Hyder emerging as a standout receiver with four catches for 117 yards. On the other side, MBSU's quarterbacks combined for 208 yards, but an interception in a critical moment sealed their fate. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 do brief via email. News breaks, buzz the ground, stories spit, walls come down. Voices merge in the sound, faces mix in the crowd. Broadcasters paint the scene, world events on our screen. Every look at different themes. Collide in the stream. Six degrees connect the dots. Background stories hold the nuts. Hear the voices rise a lot. Truth unveils in every spot. Cultures clash across the globe. Spin the threads in a stroke. Every story wears a robe. Truth and lies in their code. Day by day, hidden truths come to play In the background shades of grey, every story finds its way